Hi, my name is Amy. Thank you very much for watching and let's make some bad financial decisions together. This is for entertainment purposes only. So if you're entertained, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. So um, I'd like to talk about the thing that I've been working on for Yieldmite. And this is on localhost right now because I haven't checked the math, the final math, and I'd like to do that with you today um, so that I can launch this on yieldmite.com. So, um, I also, just to let you know, am not feeling very good, so hopefully we can do this in one take, and then I can go to bed. Um, anyways, so I made yieldmite.com because, um, sometimes when I see the distribution amount, it doesn't mean very much to me, because... The amount of your distribution is dependent on the price of the stock as well as the um, as the distribution amount. So uh, originally we just have the in the investment amount, which at this point is at hundred dollars, which means that you would get a dollar thirty three. Oh, <laughs> that changed. It's a hundred. So you'd get $1.45 this time with Ulti, and you can see that the stock price is now $6.82, and then you have the dividend amount of $0.09. Cents. So this is just based off of the last distribution that I have recorded on here. So eventually what I wanted, because I do use my own website to finagle things, was I want to look at the distribution desired. And this is at $1,000. And I usually think of things as a month. Like, I want to get $1,000 a month. And, I mean, the real goal is to someday have $10,000 in distributions in my entire portfolio. But I think getting $1,000... Um, of distribution as the goal per fund and then just having like 10 funds would be the ideal. So what I've been working on is this section here because um, this is per distribution and this is the math that we need to check. So um, let's choose one I don't actually use all the time that I haven't checked before. So IWMY. This distribu distributes every week. So if I want $1,000 per week, I need $83,623.91. And I can check this by, um, you do 83623.91 and you get the stock price, which is um, 26 dot 86 and then you multiply that by dot 32 and so that is 996 dollars that is close enough for me that's a like a rounding error then if you want a thousand dollars per month you would need $19,279.83. And this math will be different based off of if um, this is a weekly distribution, every four weeks, or monthly. So um, we have 19,297.83. We, again, um, divide that by the 26.86 and then we multiply that by the dividend amount and so that's only $230 but that's per week so we have to multiply that uh, no Can we undo that? I don't think so. Hold on. IWMI, why would you do that to me? Also, calculator, why did you betray me like that? So 
eight three and um, divide that by the stock price, um, which is twenty six dot eight three, and then we multiply that by the distribution, and then we then um, multiply that by fifty two weeks and divide it by 12. So that is a thousand and one dollars, which is also a rounding error, which is nice. So then um, we get the one thousand six hundred eight dollars fifteen cents to get a thousand dollars from IWMI per year. So that's just you get the one six zero eight dot one five, and we divide that by the um, twenty six dot eight six, and then we multiply that by the thirty two dollars and twelve cents. Sorry, thirty two point three two one two cents. And that's nineteen dollars and twenty-three cents, and then we multiply that by two, and that is nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. So we're good for the weeks. We have done the math correctly, which is nice. So then let's go down to and Fridays are the same because uh they're also weeklies. So like Let's do snowy. I, I don't usually talk about snowy. Um, so this is every four weeks, which is not a month. So um, let's see if I remember even how I did this math to begin with. So for every week, I would need 81,000. Seven hundred and thirty-four and twenty cents, and so we're going to divide that also by the stock price. Uh, um, and then multiply that by the dividend. So that's three thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars, and that's because I think we can div uh, multiply this by thirteen. No. Multiply by thirteen, and divide by fifty-two. Yeah. So. That's 13 payouts and 52 weeks a year, so you get $1,000 that way. Then for every month, if you want $1,000 per month from SNOI, you would need $18,861.74. And so again, we're going to just divide that by the stock price. Um, I think everybody pretty much has their own spreadsheets, but it is kind of nice to be able to, um, check your math against something. So hopefully that's how you all use yield money too. So this is $923 and then... We just multiply this by 13, right? Which one am I doing? Because this feels like if I just divide that by 12, we get $1,000. So I'm pretty sure we're just doing the month. Okay. So then for a year, it would be $1,571.81. 1, 571.84. Divide that by the stock price. And then 
and then we multiply that by the dividend amount. And this one, I'm pretty sure we can just do 13. Yep. And that is $1,000 uh, a year from Snowy. Okay. So then all the weeks should be, or the groups, the, every four weeks should be fine because they all use the same math. And that leaves us with um, the monthlies. And so let's do Soxy. I never talk about these. Um, these are the target 12, 20 from Yield Max. And I just haven't been paying attention to them which is probably going to be my fatal flaw. So, um, to get a thousand dollars per week for Soxy, you would need, and this is why I don't like using really large numbers with this, but so 402,000, yeah, 200, and four dollars and eight cents and we divide that by the stock amount which is forty five dollars and forty eight cents and we multiply that by the dividend amount so I'm pretty sure all we have to do is multiply this by 12 and then divide it by 52 and that is a thousand dollars per month and then these should just be the same which we got that going for us which is nice and then so if you want a thousand dollars per year from Soxy you would have to invest uh, $7,734.69. So divide that by um, the $45.48. And then multiply it by the dividend. And then just multiply it by 12 and get a thousand dollars go us so um we're good i'm going to push this math up to yield might and you'll be able to see this by the time um this video publishes tomorrow but i think that having these three numbers here are, is more um, useful than just having you need to invest $58,000 because when we only had the one number, like, is this for IWMY equivalent to um, like XPay? Like, if you invested this, like, it's just different. So, um, I usually think about monthly instead of, um, per distribution. So this will help me when I'm trying to build my portfolio and find goals, because I don't want to just say like, I want a hundred shares of X pay. I want to say, I want to get a thousand shares per month so I need to invest um, $55,000 into this so that I can get a thousand dollars per week from XPay which maybe if I'm feeling nice I will at some point add the additional shares here too because um, I think having the you know um, 
55231.58 divided by um, 52.47. Having that 1052.6315 um, additional shares would be nice to have on the front card, but this is going to get busy, so um, I can live with this for now. But um, yeah, hopefully you all find this useful. And um, please don't get taken in too much with April Fools and get fooled by things because um, every year someone does something and it's mean and um, there's backlash and I don't appreciate it. So what is the best April Fools that you've had in recent years? Um, at my first tech job, someone had put a sign on the elevator that said that there's some construction that you have to take the stairs. And then I went to the stairwell and the stairwell says that the stairwell is closed and you have to take the elevator. And that was the best prank because it was harmless. So, um, anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.